wanted to jump on and try a different style of video. See how you guys like this. I am um, going to film from start to finish how I would go to a store. This specific one is Trader Joe's. We're going to see what we find based on what is at our local store is how I kind of figure out what I'm going to do with whatever type of charcuterie or cheese board that um, I have in mind. So we're at Trader Joe's and I have a date day idea for Valentine's Day or any time that you want to have a date and I am going to just see what they've got and I figured I'd take you along with me. So let's go. By the way, my name is Jordan. I did not say that in my introduction video. This channel is called Amazing Grace Boards. So thanks so much for watching. If you love content that has to do with anything to do with meat and cheese, then you must hit the subscribe button. Uh, that's all I do on this channel. I film charcuterie boards and different fun takes on meat and cheese boards. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, but I wanna tell you that I officially have a name for this board. It is called the Charcuterie Carrier. So you're gonna be able to take this adorable little carrier for two on an, a date, a little springtime uh, picnic. You've got your different ideas on how you can make this work for you and one other person. So come along with me as I finish up my shopping. I cannot wait to get started. My grand total came out to 45.14. Now, with that being said, maybe some of you, especially as you see what I create, will probably think that's really expensive. And I, I won't argue that because sometimes charcuterie boards, most of the time, charcuterie boards are actually pretty expensive. It's an extravagant way to share your love for the people and friends and family that you have. So it's just my way of investing in friendships through food. But um, I actually, you probably, if you get what I get, you most likely will spend more than that because I do at home have the breadsticks. I have the nuts and the coutrements, which are nuts, olives, um, things like dried fruit. So I have already invested in like nine, $10 bags of nuts or dried fruit because they can get pricey. And um, those things I already just happen to have at home. And a couple of the other things that I will show you in a minute, but um, I think it's a perfect way to invest, especially if this is gonna be a date. And if you're a male or female and you're doing this for either one of you, I think it's going to be so special and it's gonna be adorable. So it's a, not whatever, what I found were beautiful spring florals. So I'm gonna kind of go on the florally spring side versus in my mind, I thought like red hearts and all these cute things, which I still did find some great Valentine foods at Trader Joe's. So let's just move on to the next part of this video and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm making now. Okay, I'm back from Trader Joe's and I'm not gonna leave any more time in between what exactly I'm going to be making for this date idea. It is going to be a portable charcuterie cone drink carrier for two. This is probably the most adorable thing I'm going to make on my channel, I'm going to be making charcuterie cones. So ideally that's what you're gonna do. Um, it'll also be possibilities of using a cup instead of this cone. I just happen to have these at home, but um, you're going to fill it with an adorable little wine bottle and buy these carriers on Amazon and you'll thank me later because these are just too darling to pass up. So that was my idea. I went to Trader Joe's. What I'm gonna do is just show you what I bought, what I have on hand, and how we're going to mesh them together with a couple of different tips as well. When you are building charcuterie boards kind of seasonally, I wanna help you get some ideas on how to save money and how to keep things on hand for future boards. So let's jump right into what I have. All right, so I'm gonna briefly go through the Trader Joe items since we kind of went on a little trip together. So I did buy wax, I bought two different types of wax flowers and then my favorite chamomile flower. And the wax flowers I bought in two different colors because I felt like it went really well with the specific like floral Prosecco that I found. And I found these at Cost Plus and I'll talk about those in just a minute. I did buy my favorite of all time, Salami Sechi. 
and I plan to use that as one of the meat options. The second one I bought was just a uncured salami. This is like a really longer one versus the round shapes. I feel like I have more versatile options like whether I'm folding it or making a rose. These are really great because you can kind of pick and choose how you want to do it. Um, for the cheese, I got the mini breeze and these are of course perfect because they're individual size and they'll go great in the cone. And then a couple of the other options. This one is a super good find if you're just doing a smaller type board because you get three different styles of cheeses in one pack. And I cannot remember how much, but my whole order was $45. So this is so cool. And this is Spanish cheese. So if you wanted to make a Spanish board, buy this one meat. Um, I would highly suggest the salami sechi and a, maybe a fig jam, a couple of crackers, some olives. You're good to go with a Spanish board, but it's way more affordable this way than buying individual, depending on how many people you have. So unexpected cheddar. It's just one of the greats. I can crumble it up, put it at the bottom of the cone so we don't waste space and we can fill that whole cone up with as much things as possible. And I wanted to get something sweet on the board. I try to do that as much as possible. I felt like this might be a great option. It was an organic fair trade dark chocolate baton. So I might even break this in half and just stick one in each side. So I thought that was really cool. Now, <laughs> the things I have on hand may feel a little bit unfair because you might have to buy the nuts, the olives, all these things. Now I may not use everything. I just pull it out to see what fits, how it looks all of those ideas. But I did have um, four crackers. I have these rustic bakery sourdough flatbread and it's like a herb de Provence in there. So they're longer. I chose that one because they're like a longer um, cracker, which you I would recommend for a cone. You wanna try and get something that isn't round or short. Um, you want something longer and taller, which another great option is a breadstick. And I think these are the Jenny breadsticks. I will link them. I'll have everything linked in the description below so that you can check out what I'm using in the boards itself. So I also have all the almonds. I have um, cornichon pickles that I get at Trader Joe's. I just happen to have them. And then I have some olives. The green olives are always great, but you can have Greek olives, Spanish olives, all of those types. I just happen to have those on hand. And I have dried apricots and um, I have strawberries. So I don't know if they'll fit, how we'll do that, but strawberries are really great for um, bringing some color back into your board or cone. Okay, so I feel like this is unfair, but I did, I do still wanna use it in my cone, so I wanted to just give it an honorable mention. This is called a tete de moine, moine, yes. And it is a semi-soft raw cheese. And the reason I love this and I really wanna use it in the cone is because of the shape. They, they, it's like this round, big, tall cheese, and there's a contraption that kind of shades off the top and it, it just comes out into this beautiful little florette. So hopefully I can get this in the board. I couldn't find it at Trader Joe's today. It just depends seasonally if they have them available, but if you find them, try it. That's great. If you don't, all this is gonna work so well. And um, one of the tips that I definitely had was during the holidays around um, a lot of the cute specialty stores have all of the tiny little, like this is a Mike's Hot Honey and this is a fig jam and this one was a little mustard. So I really love the store that is Cost Plus World Market. I find the cutest things at that store and I don't know what I use, I need them for and you will use a lot of those little things, but during the holidays, they have a grip of these small little items that can go on a charcuterie board. Usually they are around the food section, but in, during Christmas time, it's like they triple the amount of miniature items. These are great for full on spread of boards. You don't wanna have to buy a huge fig spread if you're not gonna be using it in the next three or four weeks. So I buy like three or four of the fig spreads, three or four of the honeys, and whatever else I can find to try on a board. And that saves me a ton of money long-term and, and less waste when it comes to something like a huge jar of mustard that I probably will use a tablespoon of. 
So that is one of the tips that I wanted to give you. But also at Cost Plus World Market, I found different types of wines that are miniature. But when I was there, they did have a cute little heart like Chardonnay or a sparkling wine. I can't remember what exactly it was, but it was pink and had hearts. So if you wanna do this in the Valentine theme, go and get those bottles at Cost Plus. They are still available. Also start to find little cute Valentine items. Trader Joe's had a grip of them. Also I found these at my local store. They're just pretzel heart shapes with all the cute little sprinkles. That is a really great way that you can get some more cuteness if you wanted to go that route versus the floral route. And I did forget that this is sage, so this is part of the decorative as well. So go, um, if you want, I think the flowers might be enough, but I just figured I had this on hand. I, I wanted to buy this to get it on the board. So that is all the items that I have. I know I'm kind of tripping over my words. I just got back from the market. I've got my child right behind that camera. He's having a good old time, so I'm just gonna get to building this amazing, adorable charcuterie holder carton thing. We'll figure out what it's called soon. All right, here we go. This is going to move really fast because all it is is two cones. So I prepped everything on this board so that these can come together very quickly. I crumbled the cheese, didn't need to slice the beautiful Spanish cheeses that were already pre-cut and I cut one brie in quarters. So. What I'm doing now is adding the apricots, which I also quartered, some nuts, and then the cheese on top. The reason I put the cheddar cheese on top, the crumbled uh, ex unexpected cheddar, is because the toothpicks that I have are going to fit perfectly in there because sometimes when you're putting things on toothpicks, they just fall straight through. So I added my cracker, my chocolate, and my cheese. I try to add the tallest vertical items that I have and then I work downward when I need to start to create a a little stick and I did have these heart shaped Valentine toothpicks from last year so I figured I would add a miniature salami rose which I'm kind of right now playing with do I want to double fold it or am I just gonna fold it in half lengthwise once and then roll it up so I'm just figuring out what I like the look of and what I end up doing is basically folding it in half rolling it up and then cutting the back portion off because I like the way the front roll looks if you can see I kind of did a pre one that's still laying on the board so I wanted it to look like that now you don't have to have the Valentine little toothpicks I've used regular size but I also have some other ones just from previous videos so you definitely want to get that and I will link every single thing that you would need below to make this board so I add the quartered brie and then I'm now adding the salami sachi, which I also basically almost everything I quartered. So I got the, a big slice of salami sachi and I put, cut it in fours. So I'm adding the salami rose, the mini one, a cut of brie and two salami sachis on the bottom. And then I'm using the unexpected cheddar as a little pick to hold it up and keep some height in different areas. So. I'm gonna make my next one. And I did wanna say that you definitely don't have to do this. I know it may seem like a waste if you're creating a rose and then cutting the back half off. I mean, I just ate them after this, so it, I don't have it go to waste, but I can understand how you're thinking. Um, if you do it the other way, where I basically folded it twice lengthwise, it's just a very thicker rose, and I just wanted it to be small and dainty since I had other things I wanted to get on. So now what I'm doing is I did cut a skewer that I have. I have a couple of other types of skewers, and I cut it down a little bit shorter, and then I added a cornichon um, pickle and then two olives, and I wanted to make sure that the red part kind of poked through. So that's gonna help bring out the red and the Valentine little heart that I have, also the strawberries that will go on here. So I wanted to make, I made sure I made two of those, and now I have these Jenny breadsticks that are short and perfect size. I didn't have to cut them down or anything, so I added two. So we've got our cracker and a ton of different, like we have a ton of cheese, two different meats. You have your accoutrements, which I'm doing a second layer now of some 
of the almonds, the Marcona almonds, and these apricots. And now I'm gonna add the Tete de Moine. And basically, if you see how it almost looks like a carnation, this looks like a flower. It is mind blowing to me and I love it so much. And it smells amazing. It has this like pungent, beautiful, earthy smell to it. So here you just can do whatever you need to to get height. So I wanted to make sure that that um, beautiful little strawberry cut straight down the center was kind of forefront so that the colors came through and it worked beautifully. It worked perfect. Every That cone is stopped. So if you're going on a little picnic, you're gonna be totally filled and it's, it's a beautiful start if you even have another lunch, but if you don't, that is, this is packed. You've got your nuts, your cheese, your meat, your crackers. I think, I'm not saying it's a full meal, but I mean, you can get away with it if you really wanted to. And uh, here I'm just, at, it's done. So here now I'm just adding the cute little dainty flowers that I found at Trader Joe's. And I'm just going to add a couple of the chamomile and then find some place for the dark purple and the light purple wax flowers. And then I added the sage. If I didn't um, mention that, I put one leaf of sage behind the strawberry and that is it. It is so beautiful. I love it. And so when I put it inside the carrier, I did add a tiny little like to-go cup on the bottom just to bring the cones up high. So here are the cones. I figured I would show you the cones individually before they go inside the carrier. Look how beautiful and bright these are. So thanks so much for watching. I cannot wait for my next video. Stay tuned. Have a happy Valentine's Day or spring beautiful time this year and I will see you in the next video. Okay, I am back and in the car. I am breathing really heavy because I don't do that. If you know me in real life, you know I don't even like my photo taken, let alone pulling out my phone in a store and filming. I feel like everybody's watching me and maybe they are, but um, it's okay. So I also have a guy in a really loud motorcycle that's probably gonna start any second. So I should probably pause